In this video, we'll learn about transitioning to your life purpose. The grind doesn't end once you discover your purpose. When you finally know what gives your life meaning, you are excited, pumped, and passionate. But is that enough? Well, actually, no, it's not. The next step in the process is to transition to your life purpose. This means making changes, perhaps lots of changes. So how do you transition? Here's how. One, set your goals. After finding your purpose, you have to set your goals. If there are no goals or aims, your purpose is useless. It's just an ideology that is not being put into action. You have to give life to this purpose. The transition state is a state where you start to give life to your purpose. This is when you need to plan how you're going to show your purpose to others. As Carl Bard once said, though no one can go back and make a brand new start, anyone can start from now and make a brand new ending. In your transition phase, you learn how to make your awesome ending. For example, you've discovered that your purpose is to blog and inspire others. What are you going to inspire others about? Are you going to start a self-help blog? Is your aim to be a fashion inspiration for others? You can't just get a website and wait for things to happen. Instead, you need to start writing. Put on your working pants and get to work. You can't be a successful writer with just an idea in your head. What you need to do is put this idea on paper. Likewise, you can't transition to your life purpose without a vision. If you don't have a vision, there's no way you can succeed. Your vision is what defines your purpose. If you have a well-defined goal and your purpose is clear to you too, the rest of the way becomes easier. Without a goal, you just go around aimlessly. Even the purpose you are supposed to serve, you won't be able to excel at it. Humans are functioned to work with rewards. You tend to work even harder when you know there's a reward involved. This is exactly how you need to transition to your purpose. Tell yourself that getting 10,000 readers on your blog will be your reward if you work hard. This will keep you motivated to transition to your purpose. You might not achieve what you wanted, but it's fine. At least you started the transition process. You'll get there sooner or later. Two, the fear factor. The major reason why most people fail to transition to their purpose is fear. The fear of disappointing yourself and those around you. Or the fear of not being good enough. There are these questions hanging like swords over your head. Will my passion make me a living? Am I really as good as I think I am? Will I end up disappointing my family, friends, and myself? However, you shouldn't let the fear of judgment, rejection, or disliking stop you from being your true self. How true is that? Aren't these all the factors that stop you from being who you are? Things will be hard, but you're transitioning to your purpose. Things won't always be easy. There will be times when you may want to go back to your previous miserable, meaningless life or your comfort zone. In these times, you have to remind yourself why you started in the first place. If these things were going to be easy, then everyone would be doing it. What's the point of anything if it's unbelievably easy? The fear of change stops you from transition to your purpose. The fear of leaving your old life behind pushes you away from your purpose. There are so many people who have their purpose in front of their eyes, yet they are too scared to hold it or get it. Remind yourself why you took the first step. That will keep you going. It'll be hard to steer clear of people who divert you from the purpose. These are the people who have always been around you. Ignoring them will take a while and some effort. Similarly, the fear of deteriorating relationships stops the transition process. What you need to remember is that anyone who is sincere to you will support you. Once you let go of all your fears, transition becomes really easy you realize that there's nothing holding you back from achieving your purpose. Your current reality has formed a comfort zone around you. This is exactly what you need to get out of. You can only transition to your purpose once you leave your comfort zone. Three, how to make this transition. This is the big question. Finding your purpose seems like an easier task compared to this. When you're trying to find your purpose, you're just looking into yourself. You're finding what you need to do in life. However, the transition phase requires action. It requires you to do something more than just contemplating. 
Financials are very important. Part of the reason why most people do not go for their dream job is that their dream job does not earn them enough. If you want to transition to your true purpose, you have to have a financial purpose. Your blog won't start earning for you immediately. So how are you going to eat and live for the time that your passion is not earning for you? This is what you need to plan before your transition to your purpose. You can start in steps, get a part-time job that runs the house. Now you can spend the rest of the time on making your blog a success, or you can keep your blog running with your current job. But you can always leave your current job once the blog is earning you enough. It will be hard to balance the two. But isn't that what following your purpose is all about? A few extra hours will make you feel more fulfilled than that nine to five work. Four, systems are important. To transition to your life purpose, you need to have a system in place. If blogging is your purpose, you need to have websites and photo editors. You need to get in touch with other people from the field to guide you. Look around and find people like you. Socialize with them and make your own little family. This family supports your purpose and will help you transition to it. Your blog isn't sufficient. Head over to social media and increase your presence there too. Get in touch with people and let them know about you. Part of the transition process is to make others aware of your purpose. Isn't this what musicians, painters, authors, scientists, and artists do? They don't hide away their purpose. They bring it out to the world. Letting the world experience your art, music, inventions, and words is the best way to transition. Slowly, yet eventually, you will get there. The transition process is just as fulfilling as the final result. Give it your undivided time and attention. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.